So hello everybody, welcome to another Power BI desktop update. This time is for September 2021 and we're going to review all the updates here. Let's get started. So the first update is about buttons. You have buttons now in many, many shapes. Before you could just pick the rectangular one. Now you have a ton more shapes to pick from. The next thing about buttons is that they have uh, the, the possibility to have custom images on as an icon, which is really, really nice. Not only that, you can also change the placement of the icon, you can change the alignment of the icon, and you can change the size. So you will be able to make the buttons as beautiful and as cool as you want them, basically. Also, you have the possibility for the buttons to add shadow, glow, and text rotation. So. Hopefully this will cover most of the needs that you will have when working with buttons. Next update is on waterfall chart. So now you have the possibility to toggle on and off the totals for the chart. Now the next one is about line charts. What you can do now is you can add the legend of the line chart at the left or at the right of your charts, basically creating like modern line charts, which is cool. Now, when you're going to use it and try, you're going to see that it doesn't do exactly everything that you want. It's still not data driven, which is a pity. And, you know, there, there are some things that are still need improvement, but I think this is a right, the, the, the right steps in the right direction in order for us to be able to start creating modern visualizations in Power BI. So very, very welcome. It still needs a little bit of work before it can be used fully, but it is, it is a good step. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. Now you can add sensitivity levels to your Power BI templates. When it comes to Power BI templates, I don't think they are very, very useful. I think the, the optimal would be that you can create file new from template rather than, you know, going to a template file somewhere and then it will load the settings from a shared folder somewhere. That would be the more optimal way to do it. But if you are using your company templates, then sensitivity labels will be respected when you use them. Now, another update is on the analytics side. It is the release better release of insights. Insights for me, they look very much like the quick insights that you had when you publish things to the service. And I really like that feature as a data analyst to be able to find things that might miss when working with data. It will find like anomalies and outliers and things like that. I wouldn't have that as a part of your report. I think that you as an analyst should go run a quick insights report and see what is in there. And if you see something that is relevant, create a page around it. Not, don't just put that thing in there and say, okay, you're done, good to go. So it is a way for helping you. Maybe there is some data quality issues because you have like outliers, anomalies and things like that. Or there are things happening in the business that need to be aware of and create a report around it instead of using them uh, just as a part of your report, like like they comb, you know? So use it to help you analyze your data rather than showing that to the customers, in my opinion. So let me know how you're planning to use them in the comments. Now, this is my favorite update for this month. Crazy. But all the changes they are doing to calculate, I think they are fabulous. For a business user, I remember when I started, it was so hard to write expressions with calculate because you have to write the filter thing in the beginning and you cannot use measures directly and all that type of stuff. They are fixing that and I think it's wonderful. You know, I often have times to implement the changes, you know, you have habits and it's difficult to change them. But when it comes to calculate, I'm using these changes right away because I think they are absolutely wonderful. So thank you very much for that. It makes writing that so so much easier. I truly appreciate this. Really, really cool. So they have also made some changes on the function called XIRR, which calculates internal rate of return. This is for finance people. Don't worry about it. But if you are a finance person, then sometimes the function could not calculate, could not resolve and return an error. Now you can actually specify what it should return instead if it actually finds itself, you know, with an error. So this is quite neat. And another one that is very, very good. Sometimes, you know, Power BI, the regional settings 
on the service are based on the browser settings and you don't want to change that necessary. So now you have actually the opportunity to already in DAX say what regional settings you want to apply to dates and numbers and things like that. So you can code it and it will respect that rather than taking whatever the browser your computer is on, which I think is beautiful, fabulous update things. Now, more updates on Power BI Goals. Power BI Goals is functionality for premium. If you don't have premium, you don't have this. But if you do have it and you're using Goals, then you have the possibility to automate this status. One thing that I find a little bit weird is that I'm not using Power Automate, or maybe they are in the background, but you don't see it. But I think it would be more useful to get the Goals into Power Automate and do the automation process there rather than do it in the service and then I understand that you know you have like different users with different access rights and things like that but at least you should have both possibilities in my opinion. Another thing that they have added is new filtering options. I imagine that there are like a trillion goals and nobody finds anything so you can now easily more easily filter on certain categories which is nice if you're using goals. And if you're using goals now you will be able to see them on Power BI Mobile. So that is a good update. If we continue with the mobile update, they have added now the possibility to have recommended reports or explore reports. There is also will pick things that your organization or somebody thought that they were useful for you. So you will be able to discover new reports easier. And another cool update for Power BI Mobile is that you can now request access if you see a report that, hey, I should have access to this, but I don't. Then you can actually request access already from the mobile, which is pretty, pretty neat. And last but not least, a new version of Power BI Report Builder. So if you are on-prem, make sure that you download it and get the latest features. So this is all for uh, today. I know that my favorite feature should have been the line chart update, but I think it still needs some work. So for me, it's the analytics uh, part this time, the calculate, the format, the, so cool, so cool. But I'm curious about to know about what is your favorite update this month. So let me know in the comment box and I will see you again next week. So take care.